Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. <coughs> Welcome back to my summer early music play along backing tracks. We are getting into one of my favourite, favourite Baroque movements. The Chaconne from Johann Matheson's trio in G minor. Oh, this is just an example of how simplicity and something, something so small and so perfect can just be Oh. In this chukon, we begin with all three voices playing in unison, a simple melody over a fifth that goes up and down. That's it. And as the movement goes on, the third voice stays on this simple bass line, I guess, while the other two voices rise above. I think you just have to hear it. <laughs> the third voice only using these notes and later on we get as well. We are in G minor and the composer Matteson was really into different keys having specific meanings and at a time where we didn't play in equal temperament the distances between the semitones were not the same playing in different keys did have an effect on the music. You would have some keys like C major where the tuning was all harmonious and pure and then if you transpose into a bit of a weirder key you get a lot of jangling intervals. What does Matteson say about G minor? He says it's almost the most beautiful key. It's suitable for tender as well as refreshing things, for yearning as well as happy ones. In short it lends itself well and flexibly to moderate plaintiveness and tempered gaiety. I'm ready to be moderately plaintive and temperately gay. So you're gonna hear all three voices on the screen and you can play along. If you'd like the sheet music, again, you can get it for free at imslp.org. I'm gonna put the link in the description. If you'd like to support Team Record It, you can do so by buying my version of the score and it comes in a package with backing tracks. There'll be a backing track with all three voices, but then also versions with each one missing a voice so you can play that voice in. It's called Music Minus One. So however you want to get the music, get it now and let's play.
It's just my favourite music. Let's talk about trills. There are trills dotted throughout. If you're completely new to trills, you can leave them out and it will still sound great. If you want to put them in, we follow the Baroque rules. Rules. This means we start the trill on the note above what's written. And we start on the beat. For ending a trill, I am choosing to do a little turnaround. It's not written, but it's something in the Baroque style that you can choose to do or not. I think it sounds really pretty. Do it or leave it out, it's up to you. For the tempo, I was taking it at quite a rolling, not too slow, but if you play it slower, it can sound beautiful as well. Just make sure you have that movement. I try and think of two, three, one, two, three, one, always going to the new bar. And don't forget with my practice tracks, the music minus one, that means there's different versions, each missing a voice. So if you wanna play the first voice, there's a version with the second and third and you can put yourself live on top. So that's all from me today. As always, you can subscribe here. Here's my web shop where you can get the music and the backing tracks. Here's some more player lungs. Have a great day. Bye.